Hey, good afternoon, my friends. How are you? Look what I got. This is not just, this is just the beginning. Look, the Messerschmitt by Border, the uh, 35th scale one. It's really cool. Now I got it from China, so they've, they've, it's got damaged in the post a bit. It's half the price in China. So this cost about $55 in Australia, it cost $100. So it's worthwhile to get it sent from China. But um, yeah, really cool kit. And I have been looking forward to getting it for a while. Now, I'll just explain what's going on here because I think I know what's going on. So you, you'll get, it's like a lottery and you get this uh, box in it. So the box, I'm just finding the package, is in this gold packaging. So you don't get to see what's in it. And inside you'll find one of your mystery parts. Now I got the high altitude pilot. Okay. So I got that fella there, the high altitude pilot. But you can get other ones like there's Herman Graf, Eric Hartman, and there's these other mystery ones. Uh, see that one on the end there? Here's an injured pilot. Here's an injured pilot. Now, then you've just got a normal flying pilot, a normal flying pilot, and two more exterior dudes who could be, I don't know, they might be more Eric Hartmans, who knows. But I don't think they are, I think they're other guys. Now, you also get uh, either one of these things. So you'll get a, a metal propeller, you'll get the metal rockets, or you'll get the photo etch seat belts. Now, I reckon that is dependent on what character you get. What you get. So I got the high altitude pilot and the metal rockets. Okay, now I reckon you'll only get the metal rockets with the high altitude pilot. The seat belts you will get, I reckon, this is just my theory, with the guys that are standing outside of the aeroplane. And the metal propellers will be for the two injured pilots. All right. Um, and I think that's how that's going to go. So you can make a, a diorama if you are lucky enough to get these injured pilots and have the metal propellers, you know, like damaged on the ground. Um, but if you were to get these guys here outside, you'd want to put your metal photo etch seat belts on because the seat belts are already molded onto the pilot. All right. And there's one aeroplane that has a metal rockets in here. So there's one um, paint scheme that has a metal rockets in it. The rest of have machine guns and shit. So that's for the high altitude guy. Now, also in this pack, you get specific decals for the pilot you get. All right. So this makes more sense when you look at the actual instructions. So I got these special decals here for the rocket plane, all right? Now we got the, I'll just open this up. I put the, these in the bag here. So just hold on, I'll show you. This. They're very nicely molded resin figures in 135th scale. So I got the high altitude dude and he's got his seat there. See, that's all molded on. And all these seat belts and all that shit, that, that's all molded on already. So we, you don't need the photo etch for that. But yeah, very, very well molded. Very well molded, I'm very happy with it. Uh, I wanna show you his head. So I got that guy, well not that guy, but he's got, that's Hartman, but yeah, he's flying high. So I got him with his, the mask on. I've only got the, the only pilot that's got a mask on. So I can't really have this guy sitting on the tarmac. I'd have to get another kit for that. So we're going to sort of, you know, if we're going with this, we'll have to make it so, you know, a hang off the roof model sort of thing. And there's these little arms. There's the little arms. They're very good, aren't they? And um, we'll put this to the side. I just put these in other bags. I've already had a look. I was, when I got it, I was like, which one did I get? Because I was hoping for an injured pilot. 
to make a diorama, but you know, you get what you get. I'm happy with this. And these are the rockets. Oh, look, there you go. They're bloody nice. I tell you that, and they're very sharp. That's the rocket, and it's all nice and heavy and made out of metal. The other one went for a, a ride. Elsie's angry about something. She's waiting for a boyfriend or something. I don't know what she's doing. The door's open. She, it's, you know, it's time to go out, but she's just been sitting there. Hey, Elsie, what are you doing? We're talking about BF109s. And that's the other one. So you get two of those. Very nice. And very sharp. So that's really cool. So yeah, you get special stickers, you get a special, you know, f um, metal thingy, and you get a, a special pilot, which is cool. And you get the box to go with it. So when you open it up, you'll know straight away what you've got, you know, and you'll probably be disappointed. You'll never get the one that you're actually after, but whatever. That's a whole part of the fun of this kit. And I like Border, they're trying something different. And it was fun thinking about what, one you're gonna get. Let's have a look at some of the molding. All right, so we'll put this down and we'll have a look at these sprues. So, first of all, we can have a look at the clear. Now, you can get clear uh, engine cowling and there, all that. So, you can see the engine and, all, and the machine guns. But they've done this sprue exactly the same in um, in plastic. So you, you you you've got a plastic canopy there. You can do something with just there as well. But then you've also got the normal cowling, engine cap cowling. I don't know. I'm Australian. I never never say things right. As they say, we're retarded down here. But if you don't get what I'm saying, I think you're the bigger retard. All right, so have a look at this. Isn't that unreal? And there's a nice sort of texture to it too. It's, yeah, I think the camera's picking it up, but check it out, hey. Dig that. I've never made a plane this size before but I'm very impressed. I've made a 148 BF 109, the old Tamiya one that you can get for like 30 bucks. Had a good time but it was 148 scale and I didn't like the scale. I like 135 so when I saw this I was so excited. I hope they do more so I can make more. I think they're making a Stuka as well and I'll get that too because I want to do more aeroplanes. But isn't it unreal? Look at that, you know that little thingy there? Looks really cool. I won't have to buy any of those tools they use, I don't reckon, to make the, you know, those tools they use to dig out the holes and stuff. I don't think I'll have to get any of that. I've got some of that tools to make those lines bigger. I'm very impressed, very impressed. Um, so we've got some more sprues here. So, once again, just great detail on it, all of it. Amazing detail. And um, even on the inside, you know. And I've got some really nice uh, machine guns, but I'm going to put rockets on instead of machine guns. But, um, yeah, very nice detail on all these little parts, too. There's, there's nothing that there's... I'm really into border. The, um... T-34 was a bit of a disappointment. But I've done their, um... Their, one of their Panzers, and it was amazing. And I knew that this one was going to be good. I, I knew they stuffed up with that T-34, and they wanted to make up for things. It was just a real letdown. Like, border it better than that. They want to be up there as a modeler, a modeler's company. And they're the rockets, so you can see that the metal ones you get are shitloads better. Shitloads. 
and even all the wheels see the wheels have got all the detail on them continental everything like that isn't that cool and they're pretty big aren't they and they're the rocket parts you got more machine guns um, and I think they're actually the two millimeter twenty millimeter two centimeter that's what they used in the G6s when they used um, two centimeter cannons didn't they this is, I'm not a huge thing on historical things like um, tanks and planes um, this is what I'm learning about with modeling my um, history interest was in the campaigns and then and the why and the how and politics and the economics and all that kind of stuff so I'm really now learning about the actual nuts and bolts about how battalions and divisions worked and and what they used and all that kind of stuff so that's why I'm, I'm really into modeling at the moment it's helping me with my history and it's sort of an artistic thing to do as well which I like I've always been into art I'm a musician originally I'm a cabinet maker now but I used to be a musician when I was younger it's just um, full of hippies and drugs and shit, so it's not fun. You've got to pretend to be something you're not. So I'd much rather stay out of that. So I became a cabinet maker. Got cleaned up and all that. But you can't help it. Like, you see most people that work in those scenes, you know, the entertainment scenes, they're just alcoholics, if not drug addicts. I don't drink at all either. Gave all that shit up as well. No time for that shit. We've got modelling to do. Isn't it unreal? I really am in love with those wings. I'm sitting here talking shit while we're looking at these wings. And they're unreal. That's the exterior. And you see how they've, they've got it? Like they've really done a good job on their moulding. And then you've got the inside, there's so much that goes on on the inside. Absolutely adorable paint. Ah, we're down to the last brew now. And, um, oh, and there's a photo which Fred as well. But yeah, so that's the uh, cockpit stuff. That's the bottom of the cockpit. And that's the engine. I probably won't put an engine in, I don't think. Maybe I will, I don't know. But yeah, I'd, I'd like to do a couple of them where you do see different things and stuff. But this one I, I want to do just as a exterior kind of kit. You know, in flight. And I did get, so I didn't get the injured guy I was hoping for. So this is going to be the in-flight one where the wheels are up. Yeah, the wheels will be up. And I'll get one of those uh, stands I've seen, you know, where you, you can, and you and it's the plane sits on it. Yeah, I'll get one of them. That'll be cool. But you see the engine's really detailed. But we'll look in the instructions and I'll show you how the engine goes together. And then you get the universal. On your back, Elsie, already. You get the universal decals, so everyone gets this. And you'll get your special decals as well. God, I hate that cowardly shit with the swaz stickers. It's history, guys. Um, we know that historians aren't Nazis because they um, like to model historical things, all right? It's retarded. It's getting retarded. The wokeness is getting retarded. Stop it. Well, anyway, that's my rant. But yeah, you get that. Everyone gets this. You can, or everyone can build the Hartman one if they want, even though they don't have the figure. And there's that other one, um, that guy. I'm just into Hartman because I watched his uh, doco. He was really cool. Hey, what's that one? That's an interesting decal. Cool. But they are border decals. They're very matte Um So there's a the shininess is around it but the actual decals are very matte so I don't know how that's gonna go I don't know I've done board you just I don't think I've ever used border decals I think I've always used like I've just put them in the the decal bag and just gone nah these other things 
Ostensibles or whatever. Leftover dragon decals or mini art decals. <laughs> I use them all the time. And this is the photo which fret you get. So it's not, you know, heaps of photo etch. I don't think you need to. I don't think, I think people overrate photo etch too much. Like, it's good for doing things like that. But you don't need to do it all the time. Like, a lot of the stuff in the um, newer kits is just, they're just done photo etch for the sake of photo etch. And I noticed that in uh, the border uh, Panzer IV I did. <laughs> a lot of it was just photo etch for the sake of photo etch. But all of that photo etch there looks necessary, you know what I mean? Because there's stuff that you only can do with photo etch, and there's stuff that's you know, fine in plastic. So that's all the parts. Sorry, I dropped it. And this is the instruction manual. It's a standard border instruction manual. So you get the parts count, so what we just went through there, all the parts. They're good, I like using them. It's a really easy way to get to parts. And so we've got a glossy finish, so it's a bit annoying. All right, so if the first thing they want you to do is put the engine together. Um, and there seems to be a bit of work to do with it, but it's not like Dragon, it never is with Dragon. Dragon or Mini Art, you'd be working on this for three months. Pretty standard, though. pretty easy. And you can add different things to it too, I suppose, to make it more realistic. And then you go on to building the cockpit, of course. It seems to be the process with an aeroplane. Build the cockpit first and paint it, and then put your parts together. So making all of the weaponry, they go there. So I think they're just MGs, aren't they? I don't know. They have to be. I don't know how effective an MG would be in the sky, I don't know. Like 8mm doesn't seem like enough. And then you put all the parts together, they show you, you know, what that looks like. I don't know why they show you that, but they are what that looks like. Um, yeah, and then you just put it all together. Is that a toilet seat or something? God knows. Yeah, and then you can start to get the options going on here, like you can have it opened or closed. Um, then you can have the wheels, we'll put them together and you can start choosing what you want to do, but you have to make choices here. So, as it says, Eric Hartman's one didn't have any machine guns or something. But I'm gonna be, do the rocket one. So I've gotta show, I've gotta find the rocket instructions. Put that all on. And then, yeah, so these are the machine guns. They go in those little, you know, UFO things. And on they go, and there's the rocket, so I'll make them. And they go on the bottom where the machine guns go. So there, you put them on, or the machine guns on. And I'm going to put them on, so it's going to be a ground attack aeroplane high in the sky. It's pretty cool, isn't it? It is pretty cool. But yeah, you get it all together, you put it all together, blah, blah, blah. and then we've got the different paint schemes, and there's heaps of them. So, your bark horn one, and we've done by Meek, so if they do that, that's look nice. It's a dark one, isn't it? Very dark. And then you've got this one here, which is Hartman's aeroplane. You can see he's got the heart. It's really cool, the swastika. So Hartman seems like he didn't, he just liked his AMGs or something, did he? I don't know. I don't know, he's got cannons on him. He's got cannons, seems like he does. And um, then you've got this one here. That's nice, I like that. That's the one with the battleship, I mean, the, yeah, the, the wooden ship in the Ace of Spades. That's nice, dark. Then you've got a, um, one that's a fin plane. 
which is cool. I like that look. You know how the tips and got there, and it's just a little bit there. And um, then you've got this this one here, which is nice as well. Which is just I think it's just a standard German sort of battle axe, which is a nice paint scheme. Uh, this one is the GRAF, and that's that one with the um, fancy nose. I feel sorry for the gun that has to do that one. That does look like a lot of hard taping. And there's no decal for it, so yeah, you, you paint that. Um, that's Gunther, or Gunther. I don't know how you speak German. It's a nice plane, they're all nice. And Carl Rammel. So these would be the other mystery pilots, which is a cool plane. It doesn't have the yellow, but it just looks really nice. And this is the one I'm going to do, the rocket one. It's just got a little bit of yellow on the underneath. The rocket plane, number 17. And see there, my special decals, see there, on the nose. And the number 17, there are all the special ones I got. With the pilot. And that's it. That's my presentation on the Borders BF109. It's pretty damn cool. I'm so excited. And I'm really excited that I could share it with you guys. It's been so fun. Um, I might make a video quickly for people who want to know some things about Photo Etch. I know most of the good modelers I know and that know everything about Photo Etch. It's not for you guys. But, um, people have been asking for those kind of videos. Anyway, I'll speak to you again soon. Bye.